This is the On Time Phantom. I think it's the first real electric, legit mountain bike we've ever ridden. It's got the brushless mid-drive Bafang M620 750 watt motor. But since it's a mid-drive, it's got a little bit more torque. This thing has about 160, I said 160 Newton meters of torque. Why is that important? We need to go up embankments like this. You need that extra push so you can get going, which most electric mountain bikes can't do. It also has the, uh, it's got some real neat features on this thing. It has the front through axle, which is different, which means your front wheel is not gonna pop off because your quick release is loose or the bolt comes off when you're really banging it in, on mountain terrain in these really harsh trails. So this thing's gonna stay on. So that was a real smart move there. It's got a combination cadence sensor and speed sensor. So it takes the information from the cadence and also your pedaling, your crank, and it feeds all that information in the controller. It just gives you just enough power when you need it, when you want it. And that's a whole different thing. And you can't do that with a lot of uh, electric mountain bikes. It's a great looking bike. It's got dual suspension. So you get your back suspension here. You're gonna have your front fork suspension here. Very well made. There's a lot to love here. A lot of uh, really quality parts. And uh, it just feels real solid to ride too. It doesn't have four inch tires. It has 2.8 inch wide tires uh, by 27 and a half. So they're pretty big tires, but they're not the chunky ones. Curious why they didn't put the four inch on there, but it kind of works. I think the four inches in some cases can slow you down in some terrain. But let's take her for a ride and talk about some of the features of the On Time Phantom. Legit mid drive electric mountain bike. So we got a lot of construction going on in this new neighborhood. So we thought, let's just take this for a little dirt ride. We don't have any mountains, we live in Florida. So let's just run out here. We always have a big time back here. Lots of little dirt humps and mounds to ride through. And it had just rained, so there's just a ton of wet, loose mud here. So it's a really good test for a mid-drive motor as opposed to a hub motor, which is just gonna spin. The weight's a lot more balanced on this bike, as I did notice as I was riding through this mud back here. I mean, I really dirtied this bike up. It was, it was quite muddy at the end of this thing. The hydraulic brakes are awesome. They stop on a dime, very happy with that. And you can really tell the difference when you're going up hills or inclines with that 160 Newton meters of torque. That and trying to get out of loose dirt and mud, as a matter of fact, too, so it made a big difference. It really is unbelievable. The suspension works great. It really smooths out those bumps and those curves, and you can see the dirt kicking off the back. So it's time to wash the bike. So I took it through the neighborhood bike wash. All right, this is really the kitty pool, but uh, I use this as a bike wash, but don't tell anyone, I'm probably getting a little bit of trouble for this. You can get this bike wet. It can handle some rain and some splashing. You don't want to put high pressure water on it. And this isn't really high pressure because kids stand on this, so it's going to handle that really good water resistance. And it actually washed most of the mud off the, the uh, bike. It was pretty cool. So my son took it out. He's 20 and he has no fear and he took it all the way up. And uh, he said, wow, this is the fastest electric bike I have ever rode in my entire life. It's actually bordering on the speed of a motorcycle. So we took it out, we opened it up, we tried all the five levels of pedal assist, and we see we can we can really ramp this thing up, especially in sport mode. It really goes as fast as you want to go. It's, it's actually a little frightening. I didn't want to ride it on the sidewalk. I said, hey, I really should be riding this thing on the street. Again, those hydraulic brakes, 180 centimeters, a little bigger than the average ones. It gives you that extra stopping power. Thing weighs in about 86 pounds, so you can lift it in the back of your truck if you need to. But the ride is incredible. The On Time Phantom is an amazing electric bike. Straight up bikes like this are normally four or five thousand bucks, but this one comes in at just around 3,500, which is a really nice surprise for all the quality you're going to get with this On Time Phantom.